Hello everyone. Welcome back once again. So this is our day 13 of Cisco Certified Network Associate. When I started this course, I was not expecting such a good response from it. But still, a lot of guys are watching these videos and asking the doubts as, as well. So it's really, you know, very good moment for me and that I'm quite happy that guys are taking benefit of it and asking the doubts because uh, this net course is actually or in fact networking is little complicated. It's not just like simple software coding, right? You just uh, search the Google code and uh, you just paste it and your web page is working. So this is little complicated. You ask doubts and uh, you make yourself comfortable on networking and you be a good thing. So let's start today our IP basics. So till now what we have covered, uh, that was switches only. We covered up to the RSTP. So obviously that was not sufficient. Or in fact, I should say that uh, we have not covered switches completely. But uh, at this level, I think that uh, you will be quite comfortable with the switches and uh, that knowledge is sufficient to move to our IP. OK, so now I will try to just explain you that uh, why we need routers. OK, so let's quickly jump to our that is packet tracer. So I already have a lot of things here. So let me close these and take a new one. Okay. So first I want to explain you where we where and that was our switches, right? We discussed a lot more about switches. So let me make a simple topology for that one. And uh, let's take one computer. Or in fact, let me take two computers here and two there. Okay. And just simply connect it. This is uh, the same repeated task uh, we used to do in the previous sessions. So there's nothing new on this one. But the main important thing here is that whenever we are doing the communication between the switches, it is very important that we always use the IP address of the same network. It is very important that we take the IP address of the same network. So let me take the IP address here 192.168.1.1. Okay. So this is 192 class C IP address. Okay. So here we are having the network part up to this one. And these are the our host part. If you don't know about the network part and host part, you can watch the previous videos uh, and you will be quite comfortable on that one. Okay. So in the class C address, we are having the subnet mask as 255.255.255.0. So that is automatically fulfilled, not a problem. So let's close it. Computer PC0 is done. Let's go to our computer. Uh, in fact, PC1 that is 192.168.1.2. Okay, so right now, whatever I'm doing, that I'm changing just host bit our network part up to the one that is same. I'm not changing the network. Okay, because in the class C, we discussed that up to this part, whatever I have selected, that is network part. So I'm not changing the network part, I'm just changing the host part that is two. If you go to the PC2 here, that's also I have to use the same network 168.1. I can take three, I can take four, I can take five, six, seven, up to what I can take, I can take up to 254. So right now I'm taking the 254 at from the end. Okay. And uh, for the next one, also I'm taking the one more because last IP what we can use that is 255. If you don't know these ones, you can go to the watch the previous videos that why we are using this one. But I think if you are familiar, you should be familiar that we are having the IP address from 0 to 255. So that's why we and the usable IP addresses are from 1 
to 254 so i have taken the 254 and this time i'm taking the 253 the most most important part is that we are taking the network same we are not changing the network in the switches so right now we are having the switches our computers are having the ip and we have not made any configuration on the switches that is the point to note here okay but still if you want to ping the computer on the other side we can ping it let's try to do that come on prompt ping 192.168.1.254 okay that was the ip of this i computer uh this one right no no sorry not this one uh, that 254 was this one so let's try to ping that one and uh, we are just able to ping we are getting the ping reply right reply from the computer 168.254 so you can check it here this computer is having the ip address 254 okay so we can ping from here 253 as well that will also be working because they are in the same network because because we are having the same network up to this one right this is the network part so we are having the same but whenever we are having the different networks like if you want to configure the ip address here suppose two right because this was the network part now i am changing the network i am taking the network as a two here you see and uh, now let's try to ping that one 2.254 are we able to ping it or not 2.254 it's waiting waiting request timed out request again timed out it will take it will try four times as usual because we it tries it four times so it will try four times right one more time it will try and then simply it will say that we have tried to send four packets but we haven't got reply from a for any of them and we have lost 100 percent right so we are not able to ping the different network using the switches same time if you try to uh, ping this ip because this is having the same network right uh, that is having 1.253 then you can ping that one let's try to do that do that uh you will already tried so same time we are able to ping to 1.253 and 2.254 is not valid so for simplicity i'm just changing the ip addresses to 2.1 right so i'm changing 2.1 so that we cannot ping and uh, this is i am configuring as 2.2 2.2 okay so right now we cannot ping any of them ping 2.1 we cannot and uh, let me break it i don't want to waste time here and if you want to try ping 192 168 2.2 that's also will not get reply for the ping okay so now what we are going to do for to sort out this problem we are going to introduce one router between the switches so whenever we want to do communication between the two different networks we have to have to use routers without router that's not possible so what i'm going to do i'm just removing this link which one this one uh, this link let's remove this one okay and i'm uh, introducing one router i'm taking one router 1941 just put it here connect this router from switch to router is connected to z0 slash zero and like this okay so whenever we are having the routers so by default its interface are in the shutdown state if you remember for the switches by default the ports are in the up you just directly connect the computer the ports comes up that shows as a green but the for the router the by default port are down you have to make them up enable the port then only the communication is possible another thing you might have listened that uh, that uh, router is having this ip address or that ip address something like that one right we are always having such type of you know words we used to listen so just let me tell you that whenever we talk about the 
IP address of the router, it means that the IP address of that interface. What is that interface? Interface is this port G0 slash 0. Obviously, there is some port. Uh, let me show it physically to you, right? So, these are something that are the 45 ports, right? So, there you connect the cable. So, this is the number of those ports. I think uh, I cannot zoom it, otherwise, I might show you. So, this is simply just uh, RJ45 ports, we just connect the cable. So that port we assign an IP address. So this is G0 slash 0 and we give an IP address to that port. So there are two ports in this G0 slash 0 and that is another G0 slash 1. So what we will do? We will define an IP address to that interface. So we will give one IP address to 0 slash 0 and we will give another IP address to G0 slash 1. Now, next thing what you have to do, we have to check the networks means that uh, all the parts like suppose if you talk about this, uh, let me open the pen so that will make it clear. Otherwise, you guys not able to see that what I'm doing actually, right? So open, open, open. How much time it will take? Okay, it is now. Okay, so whenever we talk about the uh, router interface, what is going to happen that this whole part sh should be in the same network, right? All the part that's so just mention, uh, you know, point out my circle that circle is going up to the interface of the router. So, IP address of this interface, this one, right? This interface. And the IP address of these computers, this one, IP address of these computers, they should be on the same network. It means that the IP uh, the uh, interfaces of the router are always on the different network or always on the different networks. I will show you that how, what does I mean it. Okay. Let me open the router. I go to CLI. Whenever we open the router, it just uh, ask you that would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog. So it is like uh, some questions it will ask to you, and it will do the configuration according to that one. So I don't want to don't want to go according to their plans. I will use my configuration, and I will do according to that. So whenever we do like this one, we are in the user execution mode, right? as used normally as a switches we just enable it as usual we do in the switch and enter in the config t correct as we enter to the configuration mode the first and very important command that we do we have to first check the ip interface so the uh, command for that one is show ip interface brief we have used this command in the switches as well but this is very much useful in the router i mean think it is useful everywhere so whenever we see this uh, summary because this is brief so we say that we don't have any ip addresses for the g0/0 as well as for the g0/1 there is no ip address right it's unassigned so what we do we will assign an ip address to the ports fine so let's try to do that. We go to the configure terminal and give an IP address. Just use command IP address. No, no. Before that one, we have to go to the interface. Which interface you want to give the IP? So I will use interface G0 slash 0. Otherwise, you can also use the tab command. It will show you gigabit Ethernet. And then you can choose 0 slash 0. Now you see that our mode has been changed to interface mode. Our earlier we were in this is just in the config, but now we are, we are in the interface mode. And which interface we are in? We are in the gigabit zero slash zero. And give the IP address whatever you want. IP address. The command is this one. What IP address we want to give? G zero slash zero. Which side it is? This side. So in this side we are having the network one ninety two. 
and I just told you that all this part should be in the same network. So here we have given the IP address. What I have given? I have given one dot one here, one ninety two one sixty eight one dot one. Here we are. I have given one dot two. So I have to give here the same network means one dot three. So let me give one dot three. One dot three. And after that one, I have to give the subnet mask as well. That which subnet mask is belongs to. So this is a class C IP address, and normally we use it for the two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero because I have not used any subnetting. If you we do subnetting, our subnet mask may change according to that one. Okay, so just. Put enter and by default our ports are in the down state so for to enable that port we do give command no shutdown as we give it the port comes up right automatically and it will communicate with the switch and both the sides will show green in the very short time the next thing i told you that we cannot give the same network to other interface of the router so we have given the 192 168 this up to this part let me copy it this one that we have given to g0 slash 0 if we try to give dot one dot four ip address to the other interface then let's see what it does so first we have to go to the uh, interface mode so interface g0 slash 1 we, you can give like that as well so it will take that one so it means that we are in the g0 slash one let me go this side no no that is okay fine we can see the i think commands so we are in the g0 slash one and uh, now let me give the ip address on the same network as we given in the g0 slash zero so ip address 192 168.1.4 and the subnet mask will be the same 255.255.255.0 you see that it is giving me the message that 192.168 let me choose my pen 192.168.1.0 overlaps with the gigabit ethernet it means that this network is already being used by the another interface we cannot use the same network on the other side so we have to go because this is the job of the router right we we are using the routers to make the communication possible between the different networks if we are having the same network then why to use the routers we can simply connect the switches and we do the communication in the same network so that's why our job or in fact the job of the router is to make the communication possible between the different networks so that's why uh, this is the error and that's quite logical there's no problem in that one so now i will give the network of the another network that we have used that one right uh, we have used this one two dots 192 168 2.1 why oh, it is not showing me here yes no like this 2.2 here and 2.1 here you see 2.1 so we will use that network this side i will define the ip address 2.3 so ip address 192.168.2.3 so our network part is same dot 2 that is belongs to this area only right that to this area is the network dot 2 so let me write it i think that will be quite good let me delete it and we can use the label here so i think this will help us so this is the area 192 168.1.0 network and this is the or in fact here i should write this network is 192 168.1.0 here we are having the ip address 192 168.2.3 this is two dot what I have written 192 168 that is two dot zero network right it's not 
let me delete it this is yeah now it's okay so and uh, this is computer ip address i think you remember so don't need to write it right and uh, let me write this as well this is 192.168.1.3 and uh, this computer is 192.168.1.1 this is 192.168.1.2 this is 192.168.2.1 and this is 2.2 dot dot fine so now let's go to our router oh man yeah 2.3 and then the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and after that one we have to give the command no shutdown and now here the our ports comes up so now we should be able to communicate what you guys say i think that you might be thinking that we will be able to communicate right but in fact we cannot why we cannot because whenever we uh, want to communicate with a different network our computer should know that if we are going the out of the network then where should i send my packet first right it should be aware our computer should be aware so for that purpose we use our default gateway because this is going to the outside of our network because this is our network i know about my network but now i am trying to go outside of my network so for that purpose what it does it just give you a default path that whenever you know the ip address or you know the path then it's okay if you don't know any of the information of the any of the ip address you just send it to me it's like that that if this computer knows it okay i have the ip address of 1.2 it's okay means it just knows this area knows about its own network but whenever it comes about any other network it's like suppose uh, you are in the india okay you know about the india that what it is something everything is fine over but now if you want to go to us you don't know everything about the us right so what you do you go to the any default path that whenever any mail is coming suppose uh, in india i know all the routes but for the us i don't know so whenever i don't know anything any person has been assigned that whenever you don't know anything you just send it to me this person is responsible or he is aware of all the things he will decide okay this is belongs to the us or it can be to any other country like australia so it will send it to the australia it will assign to the different networks so that uh, means by the networks whenever you know about the network then it's okay if you don't know just send it to my ip address so that information should be given to the computer and that information is given by the default gateway so we have to give the default gateway that whenever you don't know anything you just send me on the default ip address of the router so that is 1.3 right because this router is aware of the other network correct so whatever it doesn't know it will send to the router router is connected to the another network so it will just have a look it might be the case that it might not be connected onto the net, that network as well but the by default that default ip address to decide that whether i know it or i don't know so we just define the default network 1.3 so that is done or let me show you first okay because i have uh, defined the ip uh, default ip here and i have not defined the uh, default ip on this computer so we will try from both of them one by one and you will see the difference that uh, is it able to ping it or not but uh, here we have to get then only we can get the reply so 192 168.2.3 because for this network 2 dot network this is our default ip whenever you don't know the network don't know any of the ip just send it to the default one so 
that is done for the 2.3 let me try to ping from here to this 2.1 let's see we able to ping it or not close this one command prompt 2.1 one ninety two one sixty eight 2.1 request timed out and now it ping it you see I will explain in the next class that why our first request is timed out. Don't worry. I will explain in the next session. Okay. And now we are able to ping. Now we try to ping the same IP address 192.168.2.1 from the this one because here we have not given the default gateway. Okay. Now let's try to ping from that one. Are you able to ping or not? Ping 192.168.2.1. It's just trying that so you might be thinking that it, the first is also usual request timed out, but it will not do this for the second as well. The second will also be request timed out, and yes, it is. Third will also be request timed out, and fourth one will also be because we have not given the default IP address. Our computer doesn't know that where to respond or where to reach whenever I'm not aware of the network. So that we have to give via the default. Now let me give the default network 192.168.1.3 because that is our the default interface. So now let me try to ping it from here. Turn from and now it's okay. All set now. Now we are able to ping. Now in our computer, this one PC3, here also we have not set the default router. So now we try to ping it to from this side. 2.2 ping 192.168.2.2. Let's see that what the difference does it make. 2.2 request timed out. It's the same thing. Request timed out. Again, request timed out. Again, request timed out. And it will not. Because now what is happening, you might be thinking that uh, our default packet is uh, sending because we have given the default router. Yes, you have given that uh, default router to send it from here, right? Your packet is going from here to here to here and it is going to here as well. But whenever this is the ping request and this is an ICMP packet, okay, this is an ICMP. And whenever it's sending an ICMP packet, then it should get an reply because you might have seen in the this computer, right? It is sending an ICMP reply, or in fact, we said that ping reply. So it is sending the request, it is reaching up to this 2.2, but whenever it is trying to reply that uh, ICMP message or as ping request, then it is not able to find the default gateway so it is not able to reply that so that's why we're not receiving any reply because our this computer pc3 is not able to send the traffic it is sending because here we have the default gateway it's going like this one but it is not coming the reply because this pc3 is not able to send the packet right so for that purpose we have to define the IP, uh, default gateway on this computer as well let's do that one 192.168.2.3. All set. Let's ping from now. Now let's ping. Here we go. All set. Right. One most important part that uh, we use that is the IP route. The first important job that uh, we do. There is a one more command important because we have gone through the two important commands. The first is show IP interface brief it tell you that which ip address or interface you are using so it is using this ip address yes manual up port status is up everything is fine right and the next important command is show ip route that is showing that how many routes you are having from that router means how many path you are having so let's check this route so currently what is this router is doing it is firstly it is connected to this network 192.168.1.0 1 
and that slash 24 means that 255.255.255.0 okay and uh, that is local another thing is that is l that is l and the another thing they are saying that directly connected right because this network is directly connected to this router it might be the case that one more router might be connected in the between so in that case that will not be directly connected that will be connected via some other router so here because we are having only one router and both the networks are connected directly from that router so that's why it's showing the directly connected so both the networks are directly connected one on each side okay so i think that's okay and uh, that's sufficient for this session till now and the next session i will take one more router and explain you the concept of the routing that why we use the static routes or the different routing protocols like ospf or another isis or any routing protocol so we will try to understand the ip routing with the help of the two routers in the next session so if you feel that uh, your session you get something from this session then please write in the comment section i will be happy to see your comments and uh, if you have any doubts then also please post them over there or in fact you can also follow me on instagram that is uh, on this one my page is like this one instagram okay so you can follow me using this id saranu shukla fine you can use this one you can follow me and you can send me a message you may ask me the questions as well if you have any of the questions okay so this is the way we do it and uh, that's okay i think that's okay for the day let's meet on the next session okay thank you guys see you soon bye bye